Hi, my name is George Gastaldi. I work for Red Hat and the JBoss Forge team. Today I'm going to show you the Forge integration in NetBeans and how it's easy to create Java e applications and extend the IDE functionality. To invoke Forge commands, navigate to the quick search field and type the command that you're looking for. Let's start by creating a new project. Now let's create a JPA entity and add some fields to it. Forge the text that we still haven't configured JPA in our project and asks for information like what is the target server you run this on, the JPA spec and the provider use it among other useful information. This will create the persistence XML file and add the necessary JPA jars into your POM XML. In order to add JPA fields, we'll use the JPA new field command. This command allows you to choose the target type as well as some specific JPA column configuration. Now it's time to scaffold the application. Let's run the command scaffold generate and see what happens. The scaffold generate command creates a CRUD representation using the technology chosen during the generation, in this case, Java server faces. And now it's time to run our application. In this demo, I'm using JBoss Enterprise Application Platform to run it. However, given that the scaffolded application is pure Java EE and does not depend on any specific library, you can deploy it in any other Java EE 6 or 7 compliant container. Now, let's see how our application behaves. Let's start by creating new customers. The generated application of support searching for some specific entity attributes like the first and the last name in this case. Now let's create an add-on and see how it works inside NetBeans. Among several features that Forge provides, one of the most powerful is its extensibility. You can create extensions called add-ons that run inside your IDE. The best part is that, once you've added commands and features to your add-on, you don't need to change a single line of code to execute those commands in another IDE, like Eclipse or IntelliJ for example. This is truly right once running in any IDE. In a simple way, forge commands can be created using an annotation-driven strategy. The simplest forge command is a plain Java class with one method, annotated with the command annotation. Once your command is ready to run, just execute the build and install add-on command to make it appear in AppPins. If your command requires user input, you can add parameters to your method using the option annotation and Forge will handle it as an input field of the proper type. That's it. Thanks for watching. Check our YouTube channel for more videos. Bye.